spring has sprung and that means that we're right around the corner away from gravel racing and gravel events yeah you could ride your bike pretty much so all year round but you know when it's cold you're by yourself when the weather gets a little bit better everybody comes out in droves and they want to participate in a gravel event i'm silas and this is t1e adventures let's discuss a few reasons why you should do your first gravel race or event and if you've done a few of these then you already know the reasons i'm about to explain so stick around so that we can help convince these noobs they need to participate adventure and challenge gravel events and races can help you escape the ordinary they allow you to explore new landscapes scenic back roads and the hidden gems that you wouldn't normally find on your normal day-to-day -day gravel ride so remember while you're out there pedaling stop and kind of soak in your surroundings because you know it's not too horrible to look at while you're out there pedaling on your gravel bike so these events will allow you to test yourself gravel races offer a mix of terrain that pushes your limits with climbs descents and ever-changing surfaces this may mean that you might need to do a little bit of training leading up to your next gravel race or event typically these events offer something for everyone distances and difficulty vary greatly so there's probably something out there for the beginner as well as the seasoned gravel cyclist. Some of the events local to me, like the Appalachian Journey, the Appalachian Mountaineer, Tour de Dirt, they focus a lot on inclusion. So they definitely will have something lined up for everyone, community and camaraderie. One thing that you'll find at these events is shared passion. You will meet fellow gravel enthusiasts, share stories and forge friendships over a love of a sport. This brings on a very supportive atmosphere where riders of all levels support each other on the course, creating a positive and welcoming vibe. You could team up or you can race this solo. You can choose to race this competitively or just ride it with your friends at a party pace. Welcome to the party, pal! Like you would any other group ride. One of the unique aspects of the Appalachian journey is that it's actually a two person team race. So like you join up with a partner or a duo type setting, you race together, you finish together, and you experience the adventure in between together. Unique experience. These events sometimes require self-sufficiency and are partially or fully supported. Some gravel events will emphasize on bikepacking type skills and self-reliance, while other events will have aid stations and rest stops that are fully stocked with gummy bears, bananas, and Coca-Cola. Because you're off the beaten path, you will discover hidden gems and experience the beauty of nature away from traffic and crowds. So one of my favorite things about these events is the celebration of cycling. You will find some of the mid to larger size events having things like a festival-like experience with food, music, and vendors celebrating all things gravel. So you've made it this far, but we're not done yet. I got a couple of bonus little items here in a second that you uh, might want to stick around to check out. But since you're here, go ahead and give this uh, video a like and subscribe to the channel if you don't mind. It's free and your gravel altered ego will thank you. All right, so some bonus points, gear up. These events and preparing for these events will allow you to you know, spend a little bit of money to grab the next latest, greatest gravel cycling gadget or um, upgrade to your gravel bike. No time like the present for a cycling upgrade. This guy's selling a Hurst Speed Shifter with a pool ball grip. One day I'll have a car that badass. The other bonus point that I wanted to bring up, kind of talked about it a little bit before, but is this whole like festival vibe that most of these uh, gravel events have. There's music, there's food, there's uh, vendors, there's giveaways and charity uh, auctions and um, it, throughout the, the rides there will be uh, aid stations that feature certain things local to the area um, even all the way to like distilleries offering up some of their uh, aged 
bourbons and whiskeys and, and things like that. All right, so now that I've completely convinced you of doing your first gravel race or event, or if you've done them before, I've just talked you back into doing it again, then start off with something a little local. Um, don't go crazy with, uh, you know, Unbound or some of the bigger ones that are done across the U.S., um, but start something local and uh, go out and enjoy yourself. Make it a short trip to it. If uh, they have uh, any type of accommodations to staying overnight, camping or lodging or something like that at the event, I recommend doing that just because it's easier to get up um, there than it is to get up and drive an hour and a half, two hours or even longer. So just get out there and go race some gravel already. Like, what are you waiting on? Seriously. Well, that's all I got on my 2024 it's gravel season pep talk to all you folks listening and watching the video so far i want to thank you for watching my video and remember the journey doesn't end here keep exploring keep pedaling and we'll catch you on the next adventure cheers <laughs>